Hi guys, so if you are getting this error, uh, this windows cannot access and the network path was not found. So let's see how to fix this problem in Windows 10. Let's move to the first method. Okay, we are fixing this error code 70035, the network path was not found. Let's move to the first method, just search turn windows feature. Okay. Then the search result will appear, turn windows features on or off, just click on it. And now once it loads, what you have to do, you have to locate SMB 1.0, okay, and just expand it and make sure all the items are checked, okay, if they are not checked, check all the items and now click on OK. And now restart your computer and try again and your problem will be fixed. If this does not get fixed, let's move to the second method. Just search control panel. Okay. In the Windows 10 search box, now click on control panel. Now make sure the view by large icons are selected here and then locate credential manager. It's alphabetically sorted, so it's easy for you to find out. Just click on it and you now click on Windows credential. Okay. And now if there are any windows credentials here, uh, just delete them. Okay. Once you have removed all the windows credential, just click on add a windows credential and add a windows credential. And now click on OK. This is the second method. Now let's move to the third method. Let's say you are trying to share a folder or a drive. Okay. Uh, let's say you want to share this folder just right click on it now click on properties and now click on sharing and now click on advanced sharing now just check this option share this folder okay just check this option and now click on apply and click on ok and close and now try to access that folder uh, in case of drive just do the right click with the drive on the remote computer and then try to uh, access that so this was also one of the method. Now, if this does not work, there is one more thing which you can do. And that is just open control panel. Panel. Okay. And uh, just open Windows firewall, Windows Defender firewall, just click on it. And now click on turn Windows Defender firewall on or off. And this is not recommended, but if you are trying and very hard, just turn it off for some time and try again. Maybe your firewall is interfering and you know, messing things up. Now, if this also does not work, let's move to the next method. Uh, what you have to do is to just, um, just click on start button, click on gear shift icon. Now click on network and internet. Okay. Now scroll down and you'll find network and setting center just click on it now here just click on your connection okay if it is ethernet ethernet will be shown here if it's wi-fi wi-fi will be shown here just click on it now click on properties now just select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 and now click on properties and now click on advanced and now click on wins tab okay wins tab and now check this enable netwires or tcp ip and now click on ok and now try again and your problem will be fixed now if this also does not fix there is one more thing which you can do and that is just open command prompt okay just search cmd right click on it run as administrator okay and now you have to run six commands okay first three commands are ipconfig slash release ipconfig flash dns ipconfig flash renew and then two more commands nb stat minus r net sh and ip reset i have pasted all these commands in the description of the video given below you can directly copy those commands from there and try to run these commands and see if your problem has been fixed or not if this also does not fix your problem Let's move to the another method and that is adding reliable multicast protocol. Now 
just uh, click on start button again click on uh, settings now click on network and internet and now scroll down and find network and settings center just click on it now click on your connections now click on properties and now click on install and now click on protocol now click on add okay if there is a reliable multicast protocol listed here in my case it is not listed if it is listed here just click on ok and add the reliable multicast protocol and try again and your problem will be fixed okay that's it guys please do like the video to support